In the beginning of the season, the Notre Dame Green Pond boys basketball team won a lopsided 56-22 contest against rival Banger. That was part of an early season four-game win streak. Now Notre Dame is streaking again, this time having strung together seven straight victories, headed into a rematch with the Slaters in their house. Banger is recovering from a midseason five-game losing skid with now back-to-back -back wins in the Colonial League. Notably missing from the starting lineup for Notre Dame was Colin Boyle, sidelined with a minor injury. His Crusaders didn't skip a beat, however. Banger did give them a run for their money. The Slaters would stay one step ahead of the visitors in this first quarter as Josh Giaquinto would break out for eight points. That advantage would be very short-lived as Notre Dame's Dane Vassallo had 11 points in the opening frame, fueling an eight-point run to close it out and head into the second up 19-13. to Gia Quinto would close the gap and once again make this a tight game, trailing by one, 25 to 24. But again, the Crusaders would go on another quarter ending run, this time fueled by Zach Rogers, who scored 10 of his 15 points. Notre Dame led 38 to 29 at the half. Banger had opportunities in that first half. They just didn't execute. However, that would change in the second half as shots started to fall. Hunter McShane and Ashton Kluska combined for 15 points in the third quarter, knocking down three triples. And just like that, the game was tied at 43 apiece. That before Chase Marks gave his squad a slight lead into the fourth, 50 to 48. The Slaters kept raining down threes. They had five in the second half and eight overall, briefly taking a one-point lead. Rogers also able to shoot. He'll get three from the corner to then take over for good. The real dagger for Banger was Notre Dame's foul shooting. They went nine for 10 in the fourth quarter and 18 for 24 overall, all but securing them a win. Notre Dame defeats Banger for the second time this season with a final score of 68 to 60. I mean, those were that was, those were the game. Ken Bond had four in a row. Chase had four. Zach had a couple. Yeah, I mean, they, those were a game changer. Ken Bond stepped up uh, huge there, and, and uh, I think we're up two. He made four straight to put us up six, and then I think Chase Marks made four more. So, uh, yeah, it was clutch to make those foul shots um, and to get some key stops down the stretch because we didn't get a lot of them in the second half, and that's kind of what we hang our hat on. So. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen too many, too many more times. We were definitely a little shocked that they were making shots like that. We, you know, we give them credit, but we work on that in practice a lot. You know, we play uh, starters against starters a lot, so we're used to kids making shots in our face and recovering in practice. I mean, we get after each other a lot. Yeah, I was mad at our guys defensively, but but quite honestly, it was great shot making on their part. You got to give them a lot of credit. They're always really tough up here. Three years ago, we finally broke the streak, but we had lost 14 in a row up here. Uh, so anytime you get a win uh, in this gym, you got to feel really good about it.